and uh, for those at some distance, whether that's in foreign states or in other nations, I'm not sure. But if you will pray with me, while God's servant was praying with me, he was asking the Lord to save those at a distance while we're in worship. And so that means that at some loved one or ones, uh, or someone we've been connected with or ones, either just outside these walls, in other states, or in other nations, will be touched of Jesus as we meet today. And uh, this song, which says, No Man is an Island, is deeper than, than we think, and it's our thoughts are fairly deep. Uh, our appreciation for where God has brought us from and the way He has connected our lives and the lives of various men and women throughout the world. So if you will stand with me and agree, um, I would be so pleased. I do not know. I think it's fair enough to say in your own mind, Lord, uh, here are my relatives, here are my friends, here are my people that I'm connected with by the path of Jesus, by the path of the Holy Spirit through these years. And I think it's fair to say that we should include our enemies in this because he said pray for our enemies. And so we, we don't put any limits on the prayer, but I believe that the Lord will bring someone in, someone who's in the valley of decision or ones. Sometimes it's hundreds or thousands in foreign nations. And so um, would you agree with me in this prayer now, the, my sermon, unless the Lord changes it, I seldom come with one anymore or anywhere, but in Minnesota, he gave me something that I will share here unless he breaks it and heads somewhere else. That comes from Brother, Mor or Brother Helm saying, if you don't have a sermon, when you just take your Bible and go, go to your last revelation. That, that's not an absolute, but that's a help to us who have been sent out with the word and and hoping to say what the Lord would have us say in a way that it would meet the need of one or all in that place. And that's quite an assignment, as you know, but the Lord's up to that assignment. So as you pray, remember also, another prayeth within. The Holy Spirit prays within. He prays the perfect prayer. Having known the mind of God, having searched our own hearts, He prays the perfect prayer. Yet our prayers are necessary. And I'll talk more about that if the Lord lets me have this sermon. Let's look together uh, for those outside these walls. Who knows? The prayer may turn around and come back in and help us more than we thought. Whatever, when we pray and we're in communion with him, we're being helped far more than we know it. And uh, sometimes we know it fairly well.